You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up, guys? Six seconds or less, I'm gonna tell you how to improve your bottom limits. One of the fiber. Fiber is the number one key thing to improve your bottom limits. How do you get fiber? A lot of different ways. Let's talk about one of those old school sayings. Apple day keeps Dr. Wade. Man, that couldn't be so true. Five grams of fiber in each apple. Even more apples have optimal fiber levels. If you want even more fiber, six grams in each pair. Have more fiber, be optimal. Or a couple raspberries, six grams there too as well. Take your pick or eat either one or eat both. Who knows? You'll love them. If you don't like either one of these, that's okay because you can get over the counter supplement like Metamucil, mix it some water, stir it up, drink it down, and have optimal levels of fiber that way too as well. 30 grams of fiber is what they say the optimal level is. Mere Americans, male and female, only get 18 grams in their diet each day. That's no good because optimal levels of fiber do some great things for you. One, improves the microalbum. That's the stuff in your stomach that improves immunity and other things that go along with it, plus it supports weight loss. There's studies out there that say having optimal fiber levels is even better than stopping alcohol, sugary substances, or salty substances. And trust me, Type Medical Center has some great things to improve your health as well. So call or text us at 727-389-3220 and at six seconds or less on how to improve your bowel movements with fiber. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me that they are conducting active rescue operations right now. They have over 100 people in there that are trapped. At least nine people have been killed in the state of Florida and search and rescue efforts are underway right now. So we are here at Signature Flight and Support in Tampa, Florida. If you guys don't know, Hurricane Milton's on its way to destroy Tampa, supposedly. And we just got hit by Helene and who knows what's going to happen. So it's up for grabs. The big thing about this and the point of this is, is that we're supposed to be in Las Vegas for Olympia this week. And obviously we've invested a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources. We've got a lot of things planned for this. So we got to make sure we get out there by any means necessary. Huge delays, as you, as you can tell. Uh, so we got in line there for fuel and uh, we'll try to get out as fast as we can. So right now we are heading out to the plane that we've been waiting on here for a couple hours and we got to go sit out on the plane for another hour, but that's okay because we got to get in a line. So we want to get that line so we can get out of here. So that's what we got to do. So that's what we're going to do. So at that point, we're going to have this private plane and we're going to rock and roll and hope we get to Dallas. Wait, what's a line? You know, like a conga line. Yeah. yeah. See, she's not used to a line. That's the thing. She's just going right in or going right from there. So, Whatever. you know, patience is a virtue. I've been telling you this for years. I don't have that. No patience for her. Well, let's see what we got out here. It's a beautiful night in Tampa before Hurricane Milton. And man, these planes are lined up, ready to rock and roll and get people the hell out of here. You know, I'd like to say we were gonna go on a vacation. Well, we're gonna go on a family little trip and a Titan business trip all at once, so. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some exciting things. We're gonna do some cool stuff and see some cool things. And I just can't wait. So, walking out to the plane right now. Let's uh, let's keep moving here. And hopefully, it's gonna be a nice, smooth ride. Oh yeah, we in like Flint. We are here in the in the plane. Yes. And uh, we're sealing this bad boy up. We've got everybody in here. We've got just enough room with all the suitcases and luggages. So at that point, we're going to strap in and uh, we're going to take a little trip to Dallas. And in Dallas, we're going to go stay there. I saw a hotel for the night, a little slumber party, the Titan way, and then hop on a plane in the morning and off to Las Vegas. We go to the Olympia 60th anniversary. That's right, touchdown, you know how we do it. Dallas, Texas. Man, we just touched down in Dallas. And uh, this is our first leg of the trip. Tomorrow we'll finish the rest and go to Vegas.
morning, good morning. All right, so time to go get ourselves to Vegas. Tuesday morning, we are here in Dallas, Texas, and we are heading to Las Vegas for Olympia, the 60th anniversary. And Type Medical Center has a huge, huge booth there and a huge presence, huge sponsorship, and a lot of special guests, a lot of people coming. So we couldn't let people down. We got to make it out there because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Let's go. Good morning. We're taking off from uh, Dallas Love Field and we're heading off to Las Vegas, McCarran International. It'll be about a two hour, 20 minute flight. Great weather today. It should be nice and smooth, nice morning for flying. And uh, we'll be there uh, just before noon today. So have a great flight. Wow, we just touched down in Vegas. About to get off this plane, stretch my arms. It wasn't too bad because it was only halfway. It was like two and a half hours. So two and a half hours from Dallas. And it was two and a half hours from Tampa to Dallas. So at that point, not too bad. Um, not more comfortable than you know any other flight I think we would take commercial wise. So we're gonna get out of here, go check into the hotel and uh, relax a little bit, get some sleep and catch up from, from yesterday's craziness. Finally here. With us, uh, now you're in Vegas. Eric. Thank you for being so safe. Yeah, I appreciate boy. it. All right. All right. <laughs> let's get in this bad boy and let's get on the road. Well, we're here. We're in the stretch Escalade, which is pretty nice. I'm surprised it fit all our bags. I, know, right? I was really surprised that it fit all of our bags. But they use the third row seating back there too to accommodate, which I do what you got to do. All right, so we got to the hotel, got checked into the rooms. Now I'm kind of relaxing. I know Sharice and them are in here somewhere. Let's go find them and see what they're doing. Oh, of course, now here we are. They're at the bar. Now, I ain't gonna have a drink, but they're gonna have a drink, I guess. A lot of stress, sharing a, a, a cocktail. Hi, we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. A few moments later. We were here at uh, Virgin Hotel just was not up to the Titan standard. Paid a lot of money for these rooms. So at that point, you know, I'm out of here. I'm going over to the Aria. Yeah. All right, Sharice. Yeah. You got all these bags out? Ready to roll. We are here, we are at the Aria. We just checked into our room, which this is what Vegas should be, right? I paid about the exact same money and I paid over at uh, the Virgin Hotel. And instead of 960 square foot of not that much good stuff, I got 2,000 square foot of a lot of good stuff. So it's just a difference, you know, at this point. I'm really mad I even booked over there. The only reason I did is because we had a team coming in. And I want to make sure everybody's at the same place. But that didn't work out as of yet. So at this point, here we are. Look at this. This is gorgeous. All right, guys, we are here. It's Wednesday in Las Vegas. I don't know, it's probably like six o'clock. We are walking the strip and we have Peter with us. And this is his first time ever to Vegas. And obviously we want to show him like, hey, there's some cool stuff in Vegas. There's not a bunch of just clubs and shows. There's some really cool spots to go. So we're walking the strip, showing him some of these places. We're obviously getting to stay in a really cool hotel. That's just one part of it. But getting to be on the strip, in Las Vegas is a whole nother part. And I never got to go out to Las Vegas, so I was like 21. 
So I couldn't tell you what it is to come out here at 15, but I'm sure it's like, oh my God, you know, obviously you can't drink, you can't do anything like that. But there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And Vegas has really turned the tide since when I was 15 years old to when he is now. It's, it's more family oriented out here than ever. They understand that to a certain degree. Obviously this is an adult's playground. And I really wouldn't recommend this to, to families, the kids. But if you do have kids and you have to come here, there's some stuff for you to do. Oh yes. Super cool. We love checking out all these stores in these different cities. So super cool to come in Lids and see in these different spots. Like we were just in New York and we got to see the Lids in New York. And then obviously we have Lids in Tampa. But you know what? When you go to different cities, you see different things, right? Especially the home teams and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot more Raiders stuff here, you know, and all that, because that's our home team. And soon enough, they're gonna have a baseball team. Think about that. Crazy stuff in Vegas. I haven't seen anything too crazy yet though, but I'm sure I'm gonna see something very shortly. I grab one hand, pull myself up there. What's up guys? We are here and uh, we just got done with Crystal's Mall. Went over there, just checked out all the shops, showed her they have everything you could possibly want in there. And now we're hungry. I had to work up that appetite, so we gotta eat. So where we go? We're at Proper Eats here in the Aria, in our hotel. Which, if you've been to a really good Vegas hotel, they usually have a lot of good place to eat in those hotels. And Vegas is all about the food too. And I'm not a foodie, I like to use it for energy. But hey, listen, if it tastes really good, I'm all about it too. I'm all about good food. So let's go check out and see what they have in here. Get a meal. You see, you gotta you got feed her, because watch out. I might get angry, but she gets really angry. <laughs> oh. What's up guys, John here and I'm with Destiny, hey. who heads up our events, promos, and all that good stuff. And we have a couple great runway fashion shows that are coming up. We've got Tampa Bay Swim Week presented by Titan Medical Center, and we've got Carson Gore Tour, and maybe a couple other ones down the road. Now we have our own staff of models in-house. We have a great staff and great selection, obviously. But we're bringing so many new fits and so many different designs to these fashion shows that we're looking for maybe just a couple new star-studded people, right? Some great people that might shine from the rest. So if you think you got what it takes, and you want to be part of the Titan Medical Center family and see what it's all about, then you need to contact us today. Contact us through the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, or hit us on any of the social media platforms, and I'll have Destiny reach out to you and get you scheduled for your audition. We'll see you at Titan Medical Center headquarters. All right, this is... Be patient with me on this one. I'm just gonna feed these guys out there a little bit on uh, liver, kidneys, uh, fatty liver, um, healthy kidneys and liver. Um, don't know how this is feasible because I've been doing this since I was uh, <laughs> uh, bred into this world. Mm -hmm. This health and fitness lifestyle, this lifting weights, this eating like I have, and my kidneys and liver are fine. Yes, they are. But I know there's a lot of people out there that may be doing something um, unregistered or, 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 or going off the um, doctor visits and yep. stuff. Yep. I want to try to help these guys because I, I, I've seen and I've talked to these people throughout the years of going to these expos. Sorry about so long winded. No, there. no problem. They damage their kidneys and liver with what they're doing. And you have something that can help these people. Yeah, so glutathione, especially for liver functions. Fatty livers, if you're taking too much acetaminophen, if you're drinking too much alcohol, 
when your diet's not on point, you eat a whole bunch of fried foods. These, this is the big main thing for glutathione. It will directly affect the liver functions. It will help the kidneys to a certain extent, but if you're dehydrated, high blood pressure, and you know, all these different things, that could damage the kidneys too, and this might not be able to help. But in general, this is going to help immensely with all your vital organs in your body and your overall health, but especially with the liver, and that's a big one. Yeah, I, I wanted that information out there for these guys, because regardless of you think um, the health and fitness is fine and, and what these kids are telling you to take, well, you may be listening to the wrong people. Yeah. Either way, whatever you're doing, kidney and liver, the, the liver, healthiness. This is something that I recommend to you guys to stop playing around. First off, I wish you would. Um, be smart about this and think about the long game instead of just wanting to be a champion today. Um, but get on order Titan Medical, do your blood work, uh, make sure that everything is going fine. And then if not, um, glutathione for you guys. Absolutely, we have different therapies for different things. So. If we find problems there, we're going to try to help you out to the best of our ability. If we think it needs to go any further, we're going to tell you, hey, listen, maybe a specialist needs to look at this so we can get your health in check because you have one life, one body. If you don't take care of that body, it's not going to take care of you. There we go, guys. Um, we can only give you that information. It's really up to you what you want to do. But again, from a guy that's been here since the 80s and loves this, the short term goal is a beautiful thing to have but without that long-term goal that's that, that delayed gratification for your life you may be setting yourself up to lose and i'm trying to get you here over to titan medical so you can even even if it's anybody but i recommend titan medical it helps you live a full life and at the end of the day i think that's what you guys want Titan Medical Center stands as a shining beacon of excellence in the world of preventative medicine and anti-aging. We take great pride in upholding the highest standards in every aspect of our operations, from patient care and services all the way to our cutting-edge therapies. We provide nationwide medical services, therapies, apparel, and much, much more. Titan Medical Center is dedicated to helping you improve your quality of life. Feel, look, and perform your best with Tide Medical Center. For more information, please call or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at tightmedicalcenter.com. Live the Titan lifestyle today. Tight Medical Center offers hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptides, libido enhancers, and blood work nationwide. And if you're coming in the office, you can get an IV too. Contact us today at Titan Medical Center. We can help you become a Titan Shark. Have you ever dreamt of a better version of yourself? Younger, more beautiful, more perfect. Are you ready to become Titan Strong? Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Before we start, let me just tell you guys how beautiful my wife looks today. Thank you very much. And I'm blessed. But today we're going to talk about some tips and tricks, hopefully, to help you guys out in your relationship. So over time, in our past relationship, we've learned a lot of things. We've learned a lot of things from our relationship. We've learned a lot of things from our friends' relationships and so on and so on. So we want to help people out there. They're going through these relationship issues or want to make their relationship better and give us some good advice, some good tips and tricks to maybe boost that relationship up or hit those sparks and make sure everything is going the way it should be. That's forward and not backward and not stagnant. So today is a really good one. I think it applies to a lot of people out there, especially in today's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Money cannot buy you love. Money can't buy you love. 
They've been singing about this for so long, <laughs> talking about this for so long. But I see a lot of people still making this mistake. And mm-hmm. usually it's on the guy side. Uh-huh. Guys think that, you know what? I can buy love. I can buy affection. I can buy girls. And this is... I mean, is... You, you can buy girls <laughs> and you can buy other stuff. Let's yeah. not get you wrong there, yeah. right? But that doesn't buy the true yeah. heart of love. Right. That you know? unconditional love. Uh, you got to earn that one. That love that's there for you no matter what, even mm-hmm. if the chips are down or you lose that fortune, mm-hmm. who's going to be there by your side, right? Exactly. And the other mistake is, is that some guys out there think that they can mess up or not be there and buy affections or buy time. So let's give an example of this. Mm-hmm. First off, let's go back to the previous statement. So a lot of guys I know out there, or some of the guys I should say, lead with the wrong foot. And what do I mean by that? The first thing they say is what they do, how much they make, and what kind of car they drive. Okay, guys. Now you put it out there already. Listen, I've got all this money. Um, I can do all these different things. And that's the first thing that they learn about you Mm -hmm. because you think that that's the most important thing. It's really not. I mean, yes, having money, having stability, having a good job, are all A pluses and good traits that a lot of women out there or if it's vice versa, men out there would probably look for in a woman, right? right? So at that point, it is a good thing to have, but it's not a good thing to start off with, especially in the first conversation or the first time you meet somebody. Yeah. Not until a little bit later on the conversation or if they ask you. And then if they ask you and it's too early, you gotta kind of question that too. Like, are you just worried about how much money I make and what kind of car I drive? Um, you can get around it. Just be like, so, what do you do? You yeah. Know? The, the best that, thing that, that, that's a common question, you know? But, you know, you don't want to go in and be like, so I got this and I got yeah. that. I know some guys are like, I got this watch and I got yeah. this thing and I bought that the other day. And yeah. it's like, you know, sometimes the real true girl that you're looking for, they may not care that much about that. They're going to look for other traits that you might have right. that whether you had money or not, it's irrelevant. It's always good, you know, I mean, just looking at a girl, right, and then having a conversation and talking about what are your likes and dislikes, right? I mean, these are some common things, maybe some common things that you guys are there doing, whether it's uh, you're in the mall and you're shopping or you're at a museum and looking at paintings, right? So it's kind of like just starting the conversation, like, you know, what do you like? What are you into? What do you like to do? Like some of these different things, instead of just leading off with, I'm a doctor, I've got 10 million in the bank, I've got a yacht, I'm gonna take you out sailing. You're like, okay, this is cool, right? Maybe we get a tan on Sunday. Right, right. (laughs) Um, And then the other point, the other point is this. So if you're in a relationship and you're blessed with money or maybe you're not blessed with money and you mess up or you're not around, right? You're working all the time continuously because listen, we know we gotta work, right? We gotta work to make money, livelihood, to pay the bills and to feed ourselves or our children or significant other. No, no. So at that point, <laughs> you know, when you mess up, let's say you missed a, a big anniversary, right? Oh man, you better get some gifts. Let, let's not, let's not, <laughs> let me, let me back this up because that is a bad example. If you miss an anniversary, you better buy like three gifts. Okay. So yes, money could buy your anniversary back. So let's go there. But if you mess up, let's just say it's a very common one, right? Let's say you cheat. Ooh. I can assure you that flowers are not going to fix that, okay? So you can't go and buy or you take them for like, let me go get you a new purse or let me go buy you a car or let me go and get you something and you think that that's just going to make it all right. Everything after that is going to be peaches and cream. It doesn't work that way. You are going to have to regain their trust. That's what you have to do. Money doesn't do that. You have to do that. Money's not going to buy them trust. You can't buy trust either. So, I mean... It is what it is. You know, you're not going to be able to buy love. You can't um, be with somebody and then take them shopping sprees and not spend any quality time with them or not do anything with them and just keep buying them a bunch of stuff. Be like, well, I got you a diamond bracelet and I got you these diamond earrings and I bought you this purse and whatever it might be. I mean, honestly, I'll be totally honest with you. Like me personally, I didn't. I even told John when I first met him, and this is true statement. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I told him, I said, I don't care how much money you got. Like, I don't care. Like, I want to make sure, I I said, I want us to make good money. This was back in the day, way before Titan was even thought of. I was like, I want us to be stable. But, you know, if you're not never around, it's irrelevant. 
I was like, I'd rather be broke and be able to spend time with you and you have to spend time with our family than have money and you not be around. And that, I mean, I, I was honest about that. I really meant that because I, you know, love him so bad. <laughs> the bonding time was what really makes a relationship, right? This is with your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, or somebody you're just starting to date. Mm -hmm. uh, the time that you spend builds that connection with you guys. So it's hard not to have time with them and to build a real true connection. Mm -hmm. Even with the world we live in today and the environment where you know you might not be able to travel and see people or whatever it may be, you have to do it over a phone. I mean, yes, you're having some communication with them, you're spending some time with them, but there's nothing like being with them, touching them, holding them, hugging them, and having and creating these new experiences. You guys are going to do things maybe you've never done before or doing things you like to do together. There's no substitute for that. Um, and like I said, there's exceptions to every rule to a certain to a I mean, certain like we totally percent, love right? gifts. Like let's not, like I'm not, I cannot downplay yeah, this. Yeah. I really do like gifts. I like gifts. I like <laughs> diamonds. I like purses. <laughs> I like shoes. I like stuff too, okay? So let's, we need to be realistic here, right? Because girls do like it. Wait. You can gift them. However, this doesn't buy the love, right? Because right? then guess what? Then you build a whole relationship on materialistic things. Yep. That's not a real relationship. Yep. I mean, I guess it could be if you want to just keep buying stuff, but it's not a real heart-to-heart -heart relationship where you guys are actually connecting. It doesn't create love. It right? doesn't. It doesn't create love. Uh, it can accentuate love. Like, you know, if you really you have an anniversary and you really want to buy a nice anniversary gift or their birthday or whatever it may be, or you're thinking just off the head, hey, listen, I'm going to get her flowers. They're going to appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to love that gift that you give them. But if it's to make up for something, it's going to be a hard one. And they might take it and accept it and be happy for that moment. They'll take it. But they might be thinking in their head differently, right? And you don't know that. You're just like, oh, well, I gave this to her. It's over with. Thank God. I'm out of this. Let's go on and move on, right? <laughs> and it just, it, yeah, right. It, it never happens. <laughs> it, they might be happy for that that small little minute. Oh, and then, I love this. And then later on, it's like uh, two days later. You know what? <laughs> I'm still really pissed about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is just one good tip for you guys, and it's a long, That's a good one. long tip from a long, long ago, right? Mm -hmm. They've been saying this forever. Songs, those old wise tales. So money cannot buy you love mm -hmm. at all, right? Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys understand this, you guys utilize this, and if you guys do got money, that's a good thing, right? But don't lead off with it either. Now, there's other things about yourself that you're probably gonna wanna lead off with because that's really gonna find true love. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this sums up another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us every Sunday here on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys missed it, try to DVR, or you guys can always hit YouTube, just search Titan Medical Center, and you guys will get all the Cupid's Corners you guys love. You guys get to listen to it all day long if you want to. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. See you then.